Hi, I'm Dr. Bryant. Welcome to another edition of Cancer Facts with Dr. B. Today's question is, how do I determine my risk category if I've been diagnosed with prostate cancer? Here are the five things you need to know in order to determine your risk category. One is the grade group or the Gleason score. Two is how many biopsy cores were positive when they biopsied your prostate. Three is your PSA. Four, your age. And five, the T, N, and M staging of your cancer. Starting from the top, the grade group is basically how aggressive it looks under the microscope to the pathologist. Typically, urologists will take 12 cores from different areas of your prostate, and then you look to see how many of those cores have cancer in them. The PSA uh, is an age or self-explanatory, but the T in an M system has been around for a long time. The T stands for the tumor, and for prostate cancer, that basically is how much cancer you have based on the rectal exam by the physician. The N stands for the nodal disease. Can you see lymph nodes involved on a CT scan or MRI scan? And M stands for, is there evidence that the cancer has spread to other areas of the body, typically on a bone scan? The last thing is the genetic profile. As time goes on, we try to incorporate other aspects of your uh, prostate cancer staging into a stratification system to make it more accurate. So you may ask yourself, well, why do I want to know my risk stratification system? So once a patient has been diagnosed with prostate cancer or any other cancer, we'd like to be able to tell them how successful the treatment will be and how, what's the likelihood of the patient dying from their prostate cancer with each form of treatment. Here's an incomplete list of the stratification systems that are currently used for prostate cancer. Basically what they do is they take those five things that we went over on the last slide, we give them certain weight and value, and then we add them all up to give you the new risk category. And from that risk category, we're able to tell you what's the chance of us getting rid of the cancer based on your PSA, and what's the chance of you dying from your prostate cancer with certain forms of treatment. And so then you may say that that looks very confusing. Some of these prognostic or stratification systems are just for surgery, and some of them are for both surgery and radiation therapy. Based on a study published in European Urology this year, the best two are the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center nomogram, which is used, is, is developed from the patients that were treated with surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering. The other one is the CAPRA score based on the CAPSURE database mostly from institutions in California, again, looking at surgical outcomes. So they both give you quite a bit of information, namely, what's the chance that the cancer will come back after you perform surgery based on the PSA? And it also gives you information as what's the chance of you dying from your prostate cancer. This is a new proposed stratification system that may be incorporated into the ninth edition of the AJCC cancer staging system. So with the new proposed stratification system or the score system, you can see that uh, each value is assigned a certain point. Those points are then added up to give you a score. That score then can tell you what's the chance of you dying from your prostate cancer 10 to 15 years after treatment. This next slide, we have what's called the predicted probability of dying from your prostate cancer based on your total score. So if you have a score of 17 or above, you could have as high as a 40% chance of dying from your prostate cancer um, 10 to 15 years after treatment. Whereas if you have a very low score, you would have a very low risk of dying from your prostate cancer 10 to 15 years after treatment. So to summarize, we now use what are called risk stratification systems to help patients understand what's the probability of their cancer coming back after each form of treatment and also helping them understand what's the chance of them dying from their prostate cancer 10 to 15 years. It also helps the doctors figure out where we need to put more effort into curing more prostate cancer patients. Thank you.